This is ACC College Hoops from Blacksburg, Virginia. The one and only meeting this season between the Clemson Tigers and the Virginia Tech Hokies here at Castle Coliseum. It is so great to have you with us for our game this evening. Tom Wormy, along with Jason Cable. And Jason, this game has a tournament feel to it, not only because the building is sold out tonight, but both of these teams fighting for one of those top four spots in the ACC tournament. Well, you're down to the final two weeks of the regular season. Every game means so much. And these two ball clubs, only a game separates them in the standings. They must do the job, finish the season strong to get those proper seedings in the ACC tournament. Let's further break it down with those standings. Virginia, the number one team in the country, the number one team in the ACC. They are also in action tonight. You see the Tigers and the Hokies fighting for one of those top four spots as they meet head-to-head -to -head tonight. Now, with all of that in mind, it is time for Jason's Ford keys to the game, the Hokies and the Tigers. Well, when you talk about Clemson, they must dominate the backboard and dominate the paint. And when you think of that, you have to start with Elijah Thomas. He's a double-double machine. He has to do the job scoring as well as controlling the glass. And for Virginia Tech, space and pace. 21 assists on 28 made field goals their last contest. They space you out. They draw and dish a very unselfish basketball team. Virginia Tech has won the last three meetings in the series with the Tigers, but only by a combined five points. We are moments away from that opening tip. The starting lineups, ACC College Hoops from Blacksburg, the Tigers, and the Hokies. Corporate champions of the ACC, Geico, New York Life, Bojangles, Food Lion, and Toyota. Back on the Virginia Tech campus as we come inside Castle Coliseum for those starting lineups. And for the visiting Clemson Tigers, they are led by Marquise Reed, the redshirt junior. Almost 16 points per game for Marquise Reed. And Justin Robinson, almost 14 points per game. Also gets his teammates involved. A school record 12 assists in a game against Boston College. Watch for those two players. Brad Brownell. Is the head coach in his eighth year for the Clemson Tigers. Trying to take them back to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2011. And the place is electric and rocking. For the Hokies, and there, fourth year head coach Buzz Williams, who is 50 and 19 as a head coach in this building, and 72 wins overall as the Hokies head coach. Quite an atmosphere for basketball tonight for the Tigers and the Hokies. We played twice last year. Again, this their only meeting this year, but they played twice last year, Jason. Those two games were win by Virginia Tech, but only by a single point on each occasion. I expect this contest to be close as well. So much on the line. A packed house. Everyone is ready for high octane action for 40 minutes. Clemson Tigers in the orange. Hokies in the white. Clemson 20 and 6. Third year that Brad Brownell has won 24 more games as the head coach of the Tigers. 9 and 5 in conference play. And trying to stop a two game losing streak. Reed pumps up the three. Comes up short. Tried to follow it. Able to save it. And a fresh shot clock. Scara dumps it off to Thomas for the lay in. Unselfish basketball. Long shots lead to long rebounds. And. Clemson doing the job, running it down, creating another opportunity. We talked about dominating the paint. Elijah Thomas with an easy two to start this ball game. 13 points, 15 rebounds for Elijah Thomas in the loss Sunday at home against Duke for Clemson. Wilson. Blackshear against two defenders, plays the angle, and we're tied. <laughs> How about the crossover from Blackshear on the catch right to left? Through contact off the glass. Gary Blackshear had the game-winning points in overtime against Virginia earlier this year for that win on the road for the Hokies. Another second chance for the Tigers. Long range three from Reed. Thomas offensive glass. And that's what he's going to have to do throughout this game. 
Clemson's the bigger, stronger team. They have to create offense by getting on the backboard and getting high percentage shots in the paint. Almost eight rebounds per game for Elijah Thomas. First player from the state of Texas in the history of the Clemson program. This is Devin Wilson. Denied at the rim for Wilson, and now Reed will bring it up. What you're watching for Clemson, can their guards, I'm talking about Reed and DeVoe, take over the point guard position and handle the basketball, make the right decisions. Reed there, knocked away, jump ball, possession points to Virginia Tech. We talked about the Clemson Tigers. One of the keys, get the job done in the paint and dominate. And Elijah Thomas here early. Rebounding the basketball, creating second chance opportunities. And when he has two feet in the paint, the lucky lefty is tough to guard inside. The junior from Dallas, Texas, and a transfer from Texas A&M. 55% from the floor. It helps when you're in close to the rim, as far as that percentage is concerned. That's what Thomas has done for the majority of this season. Cross court. Bibbs lining up the three. There's another lucky lefty. And that's Virginia Tech basketball. Justin Robinson is the engine that steers everything. The pass cross court. Wilson, an unselfish play. And Justin Bibbs has shown throughout his career he's a knockdown three point shooter. 53 threes on the season now for Bibbs. Second on the team for the senior from Dayton, Ohio. Shot clock to six. Amir Sims, high arcing three, is good. He's been a bright spot. You talk about Clemson battling injury. Grantham's out for their season. Shelton Mitchell, their point guard, who creates a lot. Out as well with a concussion. Sims, 10 points in his last game, 10 points per game his last two. Stepping up, taking advantage of that opportunity. You're getting threes from Sims. That is bonus money, Jason. Just his ninth of the season, only 28% from three. Robinson elevates. Sims meets him. Ball out of bounds, but just five on the shot clock. Great ball movement from Clemson. The cross-court pass from Reed. Sims has his feet set. Eyes locked. Knocks it down from three. Wipes it up from the ground and lets the bench know he's locked in and ready. Wilson hanging and scoring. You talk about points being a bonus. Devin Wilson, a guy who had a great freshman season, played a lot of minutes, scored big points. Has taken his turn as wide receiver on the football team, but now in the starting lineup for Virginia Tech. He put points on the board. That's a good sign for the Hokies. Seven starts on the season for Wilson. Now Bibbs runs it up for the Hokies. Wilson, the senior, with the poise and patience. Awkward drive down the lane, and a traveling violation. McKeel Alexander Walker travels and turns it back to the Clemson Tigers. We're all tied up in the early goal. Basketball is brought to you by Spirit Communications, our fiber, our network, your business. Back in Castle Coliseum, we're tied at 7, 15.46 to go in our first half. ACC storylines and headlines, and Virginia still the number one team in the nation, although their only loss in conference play came at the hands of the Hokies. How about Marvin Bagley? will miss his fourth straight game tonight, knee sprain for Bagley as Duke tonight, hosting Louisville. It's coming up at 9 Eastern, and no sleep till Brooklyn less than two weeks away from the ACC Championship Barclay Center for the second straight year. Jason and I will be there. But before we get there, we experience Castle Coliseum, a sellout here in Blacksburg. And these fans have let their voices be heard early. Introductions, they're on their feet, waving the towels that was on every chair in the building in the student section. Hokies off to a nice start, giving them something to cheer about. Hokies have won three in a row in the series. The last win in Blacksburg for Clemson came back in 2014. They won it on the road 56-49. Watch that shot clock. Down to six. Out to Scarra for three. 
And Scar is going to get open looks. Thomas is going to be doubled on the catch. He made the right play. The others for Clemson have to step up and knock down outside shots. Virginia Tech is 19 and 8 this season, 8 and 6 in conference play. And 11 and 3 here at Castle Coliseum. They won on the road Saturday at Georgia Tech by 20. Picked up by the Tigers. This is Reed trying to knife his way. Blackshear rips it off the rim in the outlet to Bibbs. One on one against DeVoe. Well, they started out as one on one, but Sims did a great job not giving up on the play, sprinting in, contesting that shot high. This is Reed, wide open for a three, and he knocks it down after missing his first two three attempts. Marquis Reed. But it started from Sims. He did the job sprinting in defensively, contesting that shot, and then the facilitator offensively driving, drawing the defense, head up, made the correct pass, creating an easy opportunity for Marquis Reed. 13 points for him on Sunday against Duke, although just one of six from three-point range as Wilson comes up short and to DeVoe. Clemson's going to give Wilson that shot all day long. He's not noted as a great outside shooter. They're playing him as a driver, and he, if he wants to take those shots, the Tigers will live with it. But the Tigers doing the job, sharing the basketball. He goes inside, head up, and the draw and dish here from Sims. We've seen him knock down a three, now acting as a facilitator. And Marquise Reed now has to have a different mindset. With Shelton Mitchell out, he has to understand when it's time for him to go score. He's wired to score the basketball, but now he has to act as a facilitator as well. And when others can create open shots for him, that's something that can get him going throughout this game. Ted Valentine, Bill Covington Jr., Tony Chiazza, our officials this evening. Chris Clark is into the game for Virginia Tech, right number 15 in white, and it's Bill this time down the floor. Justin Bibbs, who has played over 3,800 career minutes in a Virginia Tech uniform. It seems like he's been here a lot longer than four years, partner. And that's because he played heavy minutes as a freshman, and he's been a proven commodity in this league all four seasons. There's Reed again with a jumper. He's going to have the ball in his hands plenty in this game. He and Gabe DeVoe, guys that have to make the decisions, and a great job there from Reed. Robinson got his own miss back. Evidently did not hit the rim. There was no reset of the shot clock. Bibbs. Sims the rebound. Bunnell is wide open for three. Stara fights on the inside. And a foul against the Virginia Tech. And Tom, that can't happen. There are four white jerseys in the paint against one orange jersey. Scar wanted it more, went up high, got that rebound. The Hokies have to do a better job cleaning up the backboard. T.J. Horn assessed with the personal number 14 in white. This is Wilson. Robinson will get a breather. Wanted to make sure they had the foul on the proper player. Buzz Williams also wanted to make sure it was on Horn, number 14. Scara comes out for the Tigers. Clemson's able to get a win tonight. They tie the program record for ACC wins in a season with 10. They have had a fantastic season. It includes a win at home against North Carolina. Although they did lose last Wednesday in overtime against Florida State. And then the loss on Sunday against then number 11 Duke.
Hokies have won three of their last four games, six of their last eight. Trying to get the offensive flow rolling and a shot clock, Jason, down to six. And there is no flow. The ball stayed on one side of the floor. Now you're trying to create something late. And I said that Wilson wasn't a shooter. But, partner, I tell you what, when you're facing a short shot clock and your only option is to shoot, your percentages go way up. That's his third of the season, three for 14, 15, I'm sorry, he's taken two in this contest. That's a timely ball there from the corner. An unlikely source for a three-point basket with Devin Wilson. And now the shot clock down to six at the other end. Trap trying to get rid of it. Needs some help. Tries to go back door. Deflect it away. Clark. They go into the corner. Big. Halfway down and out. Horn up to the line. This lineup is bringing great energy to the game for Virginia Tech. Flying around on both ends. Active bodies. They have to do the job executing here in the half court. Well, Visa Beattie is in there, number three in white for Virginia Tech. The freshman from North Andover, Massachusetts. Wilson, fancy dribble into the corner. It's Horn for three. And that's the pace in space right there. Virginia Tech wants to space you out, dribble draw, drive the defense to commit, and then have their head up to kick out for three-point shots. Unselfish basketball beating against a short shot clock. Devin Wilson, three ball corner pocket, and then Horn, splash for three. Let's go, Hokies. Wow, one of the all-time greats. And our broadcast colleague, Del Curry. His banner hangs in the Raptors. I think that picture was taken a few years ago. What do you think, Jason Campbell? <laughs> The short haircut, but you see the current Hokies climbing the ladder, sharing the basketball. Justin Robinson has just passed Dale Curry and Devin Wilson etching ever so closely. The question I have for you, partner, I had no idea Wait. Dale Curry passed the basketball <laughs> this much. He was the recipient of those passes, letting it fly from three. Man, we might have to double check that. And we may have to, just to make sure, I'm sure our outstanding production staff double and triple check that one. Del Curry, always great to see Del, who, of course, works in the NBA as an analyst for the Charlotte Hornets. His Hokies have the 15-12 lead. Just over 10 minutes to go in our first half. Tom Wormley, along with Jason Cable, the former North Carolina standout, played at the Final Four in 2000 and five years, the head coach at Appalachian State. Deep shot clock. DeVoe has to shoot it, deflected by Wilson. And Coach Brad Burnell is beside himself. He's trying to direct traffic from the bench, and that's what not having your starting point guard on the floor does to a team. Guys have different roles on the team, and they're having to learn on the fly. Virginia Tech, we talked about sharing that basketball. Five assists on six Mayfield goals. Horn with the shot clock at five. Into the lane. Stara denies it. Tigers fought back on Sunday to tie Duke before losing. In regulation as the Blue Devils scored the last nine points of that game. Clemson only shot 34% against Duke. That uh, bounces out of bounds off of Marquise Reed. 20 on the shot clock. Well, give the reserves for Virginia Tech a lot of credit. They came into this ball game, changed the tempo, played with great passion, energy, and pace. And the fans here giving them a round of applause because they came in and pushed the lead ahead for the Hokies. Now, one of those players for Buzz Williams was P.J. Horn. Coming into the game today, P.J. Horn had made one three <laughs> on three attempts for the season. And he knocks down one in the corner like a cool customer for three points for well, Virginia Tech. Well, that left corner must be the lucky corner for the Hokies because he and Devin Wilson, the guys knocking it down. Blackshear, the one-handed rebound, and we got a wedgie. So the arrow favors the Clemson Tigers. Well, the shot goes up. You see... Orange jerseys trying to make contact with Blackshear. 
He would not be denied by a player, but the rim said not today. But you love the effort. Good thing it wasn't an atomic wedgie. Fall back and play. You see what the Tigers have done over the last four and a half minutes as they struggle. Spencer, difficult shot, falling away. It's Thomas offensive glass, trying to finish, and he does. I'm sure Brad Barnell does not want Spencer taking one-legged fallaways. If you're Clemson, you have to get that ball inside to Elijah Thomas. Play through him. He's going to command the double team. He's the guy that at the fourth position can now act as a facilitator and create opportunities for others. This is Clark. Trying to shake his defender, Scarra. Shot clock is inside of 10. Robinson, the quick recognition. Now the drive around two defenders and the scoop. Justin Robinson. Speed kills. And five, as he's known here, Virginia Tech is blessed with abundance of it. Great drive and scoop with the left hand. First points of the game for Justin Robinson. A couple players get tangled up. And the foul goes against Virginia Tech in a mid hill. Last two trips down the court. First it's Thomas working the offensive glass. But Justin Robinson goes right on by. Tech by three. By Blue Cross and Blue Shield of North Carolina. The tools you want, you got it. And by the Works Hydro Shot. The first portable power cleaner. Ready, aim, clean. Back inside Castle Coliseum, home of Virginia Tech Hokie basketball since 1962. And they win 75% of their games in this building. That student section waking up tonight. As it's hot in here, the big fans are cranking, but it is an outstanding setting for college basketball on a Wednesday night in Blacksburg, Virginia. Tigers will have the basketball and Gabe DeVoe. Again, the Tigers are without Shelton Mitchell. Suffered a concussion in their game at Florida State a couple of games ago. They're going to try to get him back on Saturday for their game against Georgia Tech, but did not travel with the team. In concussion protocol. So the other guys must step up and change their mentality. We understand Marquise Reed. He's a natural-born scorer, wired to put the ball in the hoop has more responsibility now but when he catches it from cross court he's a guy that can create offense for himself eight points now for reed two of seven from beyond the arc Did struggle against duke shooting three pointers just one of six on sunday clark working inside reed pulled it down clark trying to back down there you like it when he faces up uses his quickness to go around little heat check there in transition from marquise reed He's already attempted eight three-point shots in this first half. And three of ten overall for Reed, the leading scorer for the Tigers at 15.7 points per game. Robinson on line but short, and Thomas the rebound. Would love to see Clemson get this ball inside to Elijah Thomas. See what he can do in the post if he's doubled. I believe that young man will make the right play and get someone an open shot. DeVoe. Scarra. Three-pointer, Scarra. Great pass from Gabe DeVoe. But, Tom, because Elijah Thomas set that screen and rolled hard to the hoop, it forced the defense to account for him. Scar replaces. He's wide open. Shot ready to knock it down. <laughs> Clark with the ball for Virginia Tech. Capable hands of Justin Robinson and around a screen. Blackshear, deep three. Blackshear shoots 38% from long distance. Does shoot the three a little bit. Unsuccessful in that attempt. away from Thomas up ahead Hill John Robinson rather had it knocked away in a foul defensively for Virginia Tech great job by Clark coming over from the help side 
knocking that pass away, creating an opportunity for the Hokies to get in transition. Justin Robinson attacking the basket. Spencer a little too physical there on the reach in, but a smart play giving up that foul, which doesn't give up what would have been an easy two points. Hokies with those eight points off the Tiger turnovers. They're trailing by three. The number 15 team in the country. Eight straight weeks. Clemson has been ranked. Black Shear is open on the inbounds for a rim bender. Elijah Thomas broke down for half a second. That created an easy avenue for Blackshear to cut to the basket. The delivery, the corral, goes up high for the jam. 4 of 14 on threes in the game for the Tigers. Shot clock to seven. This is Thomas backing in. It was helped defensively, but a foul is called. Looked like Alexander Walker in his first. Out of bounds under Buzz Williams talks about wanting to steal at least six points a game out of the special teams. Nice find from Robinson, but a complete breakdown by Elijah Thomas, allowing Blackshear to become free. On the other end, Buzz Williams was looking for an offensive foul. He thought Thomas dropped his shoulder, created that contact. Thomas earns a trip to the line for two. So these would be the first free throws by either team in our game this evening. Elijah Thomas, 62% from the strike. I saw Buzz Williams complaining and talking to the officials. Look at his feet. There's a shuffle, there's a travel, a lot of contact generated from Thomas. I agree with Coach Williams on that call there, but the Tigers walk away with two points. Virginia Tech two and three this season against ranked opponents. The win's coming at home against North Carolina and at Virginia, which was number two at the time. And then ascend it to number one in the country. Wilson's Avenue is cut off for the moment. Creates contact. And Devin Wilson has earned a couple of free throws. When you're defending Devin Wilson, you have to understand he's going to bring the action to you. Move your feet, build your wall, don't give him an angle. But a nice job there, getting the, his footprints in the paint, throwing that contact. He has an opportunity for the Hokies closer. Wilson just 54% from the line for the Redshirt senior from McKees, Rocks, Pennsylvania. He averages just over three points per game, a couple of rebounds. Blackshear kept it alive, trying to force it up into the corner. The miss from Alexander Walker. Partner, I'll say this. These guys are playing hard and physical. Both teams understanding how much this ball game means. Putting forth their best effort here in this first half. Donnell looking for some help. Shot clock is down to five. Spencer mid-range. Robinson. Waiting for reinforcements and bids. Three of nine. From beyond 20 feet, nine inches away. Cross court, almost stolen by DeVoe. The diving attempt by Devin Wilson. And he goes out of bounds. Virginia Tech trailing by three, but an easy basket here. K.J. Blackshear slips away, goes up high for the jam. by Toyota we go back 11 days ago February 10th the Hokies did what no other ACC team has been able to do this season and that is beat Virginia when you defeat the now top ranked team in the land you know what that means you could be going places with that road win well a big time road win 
Virginia Tech very connected, playing through the final whistle. And K.J. Blackshear, an offensive rebound putback, uncharacteristic for the Cavaliers to give something like that up. But you talk about Virginia Tech with two top 25 wins, beating Virginia on the road, as well as North Carolina here at home. Those are great resume-building wins moving forward. And Virginia Tech went to the NCAA tournament a season ago, the first time since 2007 they made it to the tournament field. Blackshear, the interception, floats it ahead. The reverse layup, no good. Robinson tried to follow on the miss from Alexander Walker. DeVoe is going to pick up the foul, Jason. Well, you just love the fact that Virginia Tech players never give up on the play. You see Clemson players running in, following the action, but no one's checking out to box out. And Justin Robinson, the smallest player on the floor, comes crashing in, unable to finish. And knocks down the first of two from the foul line. 6'1", 190 pounds. As Elijah Thomas, who is considerably larger than that, will come into the game for the Clemson Tigers. Bunnell leaves. That career high. 32 points at home against NC State to Justin Robinson. In the backcourt, deflected. Recovered by Scar. Scar is a guy who transferred from Valparaiso, sat out last season. Shot clock to seven. All the way out to Reed. Long distance three ball. Marquise Reed. Thomas fighting. And the foul is against Elijah Thomas trying to get position for the offensive board. Right now, the best offense for Clemson is simply getting the shot up and allowing the big fella to go get it. But you can't drop your shoulder and initiate that kind of contact inside right in front of the official. If you use your hips, your legs to drive a guy out, those things will be let move forward. But you can't hit a guy up by with your shoulders and your arms. Virginia Tech leads the conference in shooting, also in three-point shooting, and fourth in the nation, 40% from beyond the arc. Ball back to the Tigers. A little bit of a struggle at Castle Coliseum, shooting-wise for Virginia Tech. So far tonight against the Clemson Tigers, number 15 in the nation. Well, two very stout defensive teams doing the job. You see, everything is contested. Passes, guys are flying around, active hands deflecting the ball. Not a lot of driving lines. Both ball clubs are going to have to show they can make shots from distance. Three straight turnovers for the Tigers as Ahmed Hill rejoins the Virginia Tech lineup. In fact, the Tigers are third best in the conference as far as defensive field goal percentage is concerned. A one-point game inside of two minutes to go in a rapid first half of play. Blackshear straight away. Easy rebound for Reed. Sims. That was a three-point attempt. Robinson. Dribbling clinic finally gives it up. He gets it right back and shoots. A smart play by five and what? Recognizing Elijah Thomas was switched on him. He dribbled the ball out, gave it up, and then called for the ball right back, understanding Thomas does not want to extend beyond the three-point line. Finds himself open, knocks it down from the wing. Hokies have taken the lead by two. Reed wants to take it right back and does. Right in front of that Virginia Tech bench. And Tom, that's all Clemson has to do. Get the ball inside to Thomas. If you don't double him, he's going to score or get fouled. If he is doubled, he's unselfish enough and intelligent enough to find an open shooter. But you must play through him without Shelton Mitchell on the floor. There is a timeout on the court. Reed is now three of ten. On three-point attempts in his first half. 
Virginia Tech took the lead. Clemson took it right back. Well, a savvy play. You see the switch there. Thomas is not going to chase. He's looking for a switch. He's not going to chase Robinson on the perimeter. And then Elijah Thomas calling for the ball. Robinson helps in. Leaves Reed wide open in the corner. He's able to knock it down from three. Reed now with 51 three-pointers on the season. With Clemson up by one, we can tell you, coming up this week on ACC All Access, find out whose NCAA bubble is about to burst after a big weekend of games. See how the ACC sizes up. Check local listings on your regional sports network. This is one of five games tonight in the ACC, and as we told you, we're inside of two weeks before we make the trip to Brooklyn, New York, Barclays Center, for the ACC tournament celebrating 65 years of ACC basketball. I thought it was great last season in Brooklyn. Great action throughout. The fan support was outstanding. The ACC has shown to be the best conference in all of college basketball with much parity. It's going to make his way to Brooklyn, New York. Duke won four games in a row to win that championship. Bibbs. Shot clock was winding down. His shot never got to the rim. Clemson had possession on the baseline, but then the ball was dribbled on the baseline. That according to Bill Covington Jr. And the Clemson bench is also asking, was there a shot clock violation? You look, Marquise Reed, his feet were in bounds when he dribbled that basketball. I think he placed it on the end line. Bill Covington, Bill Covington Jr. right there to see it, makes the call. I was going to say, Jason, nobody had a better look at it than Bill Covington Jr. We will also give you a close look at it and keep an eye on the shot clock. Well, the shot clock is what the Clemson bench is asking about. But you see, when Reed has possession, there's one second on the shot clock. So that should be taken out of the mix. Reed's feet were in bounds. When he dribbled that basketball, from my vantage point, he dribbled it on the baseline. That gives the ball right back to Virginia Tech an opportunity to hold for the last shot. Valentine, Covington Jr., Chiazza, the discussion. They're going to award the ball to Clemson. No, they're going to reverse that and give it back to Virginia Tech in a matter of about a second. Brad Barnell still asking to go to the shot clock. So take a look at the monitor and go to the shot clock. But clearly, Reed had possession of that basketball, and there was one tick left on the shot clock. And he dribbled that ball out of bounds. Our outstanding production crew providing that revealing replay to award the ball to Virginia Tech. And the video evidence. 15 seconds to go in the half. What you're going to see here, you're going to see a ball screen and Justin Robinson attacking with guys space all around the three-point line. Robinson hesitation, going to the right, hits the shot to beat the buzzer. Now was there a fo foul called right at the end of the half? The officials say no, but partner, the fancy ball handling from Justin Robinson took him to in and out burger, drove the lane in the fadeaway going across his body. And that's what having a good point guard can do, gets the mismatch he wants, crossover in and out. The filet action with the fadeaway, giving the momentum and the lead to the Hokies going into halftime. Nine points for Robinson, led the way for Virginia Tech. You don't want to be trailing Virginia Tech at halftime. They are 17-1 and one this season when they take that advantage to the locker room. Halftime is straight ahead from Castle Coliseum. Virginia Tech and the Clemson Tigers fighting here in Blacksburg. Halftime right after this. Against Ole Miss earlier this season in overtime when they had the halftime lead. Otherwise, they have been dominating in this situation. Virginia Tech will start with the basketball. The flexibility of youth. <laughs> Those days long gone. Well, the lyric said, we're ready. <laughs> the cheerleaders ready, the fans are ready. 
Now the players back in live action. Let's hope for as good of a second half as we had in the first partner. On the floor for Virginia Tech, Justin Robinson is there for three. I guess five is ready, wasting little time. The electric plate in the half and begins the second 20 minutes. Little shake and bake right into a three-point shot. DeVoe trying to get into the box score. Still denied entry. Dave DeVoe really struggling from the three-point line. One of his last 11, the past two games, has to take good shots but has to have confidence when he rises up to let it go. Yeah, the five games prior to the loss against Duke, Jason, he had 25 threes. And has struggled from beyond the arc. Trying to get into that shooter's rhythm is Marquise Reed. He's got it. Marquise Reed struggled against Duke shooting the basketball. Three for 14, one for six from three. But he's come out ready to shoot, ready to score, and been in attack mode, and his team has needed his offensive aggression. 14 points from Reed. Whistle stops playing a foul. Scara has picked up the foul for Clemson. Hokies are eight and six in conference play, but they started the season, Jason, two and four. They've been able to turn things around, and that includes wins against Virginia, North Carolina, and their first ever win at Notre Dame. Shot clock down to one. Blackshear. Reed with the push. Well, another obvious play. Justin Robinson, who rebounds the ball well for a point guard. I'm sorry, that's Alexander Walker inside. Got the inside position, and Marquise Reed Unable to get around, simply pushes him. Can't do that right in front of the official. Robinson does not get the bounce. Players on the floor right now for the Clemson Tigers. Into the corner for DeVoe, the catch and release. And that is not the desired result. He's really struggling. But he's a guy that has been a scorer throughout his entire career. He needs to see one go through the hoop. Doesn't have to be from three. He needs to drive, get fouled. Exactly what K.J. Blackshear does there. Has the time, has the space, one-on-one -on -one inside. Takes the action to Thomas, gets over his left shoulder. Goes up strong, takes the harm. Does a little window shopping off the glass. Opportunity. For a three-point play. They gave the foul to Scara. That's what we're being told. But now we're double-checking. That's Bill Covington Jr. at the scorer's table. Well, it was one-on-one -on -one inside. The, the rest of the lane had completely spaced out. 14. I think Brad Brownell wants to foul on Scara. So now the foul has been corrected. Remove a foul from the record for Scara and assess it to Elijah Thomas, his second. With Blackshear at the free throw line. Old school three point play for Blackshear. Largest lead of the game for Virginia Tech at four. DeVoe trying to get around Wilson. Just got a small piece of DeVoe for the foul. With the ever excitable Buzz Williams. He's in the defensive stance. He's talking. Already released his suit jacket. He's a guy that his team has taken on his identity and his attitude. What a quick turnaround. The Hokies have a great leader at the helm. He is 3-1 as a head coach against the Clemson Tigers. Scara off the glass. Five points for Scara. Clemson, 17 three-point attempts in the first half. That's too many. You have to drive the ball to the basket. 
You talk about dominating the paint. It doesn't have to simply be like the top. The guards, others can drive and get their footprints in the paint. What a block inside. Isaac Thomas, the two-hand block. Whoa, that one kicked. Alexander Walker and Wilson in the vicinity defensively. But do your work early is what coaches tell you. And Thomas takes the contact, moves his feet, and K.J. Blackshear got away with holding Thomas's jersey. But that's been a battle throughout this entire contest. The two bigs inside going at it, attacking one another. Very physical in the paint. Donnell comes in for Thomas. Mark Donnell is the transfer from Michigan. Played 101 games in a Michigan uniform. Played in the NCAA tournament for the Wolverines. Graduate transfer. Scarra drew two defenders. They whip it around to DeVoe from the free throw line. And that's what you want if you're Gabe DeVoe. You turn down the three-point shot where you struggle. You dribble the ball, get it to the nail, and rise up and see that ball go through the basket. That has to be a sigh of relief and most likely a confidence booster. For Gabe DeVoe. First points of the night for DeVoe. Now 1 for 5 from the floor, but 0 for 4 from 3-point distance. Blackshear. Weak side read. Tied at 32. Robinson tried to take it away from Reed. Saves it to Scarra. Right in front of our broadcast position. Back to Scarra. Blocked by Blackshear. Robinson tries to thread it to Hill. He elevates and gets fouled. These guys are leaving it all on the floor. Playing extremely hard. Thomas, the two-handed takeaway with the block. And on the other end, Scar goes up. Blackshear says, not in my house. 32 all, Tigers and Hokies. And that takes us... So tonight's well-planned play brought to you by Principal Financial. The half-court shot from Lucas Noble for 10 grand. Jason Cable, Luke, you have the power. You have the force. And he also has the range. And what do you get for making that? A big check for 10 Gs. Half-court shot winner. <laughs> Stay under the basket. Focus under the basket, watch the reaction. Oh! <laughs> Look at his face. I got to be honest with you, I had the same reaction <laughs> sitting here. You see that shot attempted almost every arena we're in. Each time you see someone connect, knock it in, and the excitement that goes throughout the entire gym is magnetic. Well-planned play. 10 G's. Virginia Tech has taken the lead with Ahmed Hill at the free throw line. If you're a college student, do you know how much $10,000 means to you? It is tax season. You better declare that. <laughs> he's got a lot of friends all of a sudden. All of building, a sudden. Doesn't he? He's the most popular guy on campus for sure. Shot clock at 10 for Scarra. DeVoe, take a peek at that shot clock. Lost the handle. Couple of players collide mid-air, mind you. And it is a shot clock violation against the Tigers. You don't want to keep harping on it, but Clemson is without their starting point guard, Shelton Mitchell, the guy that facilitates, creates for others Hitting other people's shots, 96 assists on the season by Mr. Mitchell. And Gabe DeVoe and Marquise Reed taking that responsibility. And DeVoe really struggling in this game. You notice some of the Virginia Tech players wearing the pink basketball shoes. Well, on January 22nd, they beat North Carolina here. It was Breast Cancer Awareness Night. They had the shoes on and a lot of guys. Wanted to keep that momentum going, wearing the pink shoes. Now, a foul was called. The whistle drowned out by the crowd. It's going to be on Sims. 
First of all, Horn has made a three, but you can't go for the fake. I thought Sims was there. Maybe he moved a little bit, anticipating the contact. But he stepped in and gave up his body. Horn misses the first. Jason may be turning that shoulder at the last min minute. And we told you about the pink shoes from the win against North Carolina. First win against the Tar Heels since February of 2010. They also wore the Frank Beamer shirts in that game as well, the warm-up shirts, because Frank Beamer's going into the College Football Hall of Fame, the legendary football head coach here at Virginia Tech. So quite a night in that win against Carolina. Miscommunication, Reed saves the day. Marquise Reed unable to get free, six on the shot clock. Takes the gander and fires. Reed with three. That's good defense, and that's just an individual talent stepping up and making a big play. Clemson unable to get anything execution-wise in the half court. They're giving the ball to Marquise Reed and expecting him to bail him out. That possession, that young man did just that. Five made threes for Reed, 17 points. Leads all scorers tonight. That one was caught in the rim again. Double wedgie. We had a wedgie in the first half, another one now. What you, is going on? You see a short shot clock. The orange jerseys are looking for number two. Takes the handoff, raises up, knocks it down. He delivers. But so much responsibility on Marquise Reed's shoulders now. He's having to score. He's having to create opportunity. Opportunities for guys that can't do it themselves on the offensive end. When is the last time you saw two balls get wedged up on the rim? And of course, the rule is you go right to the possession arrow, and this time it's going to favor the Clemson Tigers. Up by one, 35-34 after trailing by one at halftime to Virginia Tech, 26-25. Spencer. Robinson. Trying to cut off Reed. Goes over top of him and hits another three. His sixth of the game. And 20 points, Marquise Reed. Well, Virginia Tech needs to figure out what they're going to do at the point of the ball screen. There can be no negotiations. Clark wanted to switch. Robinson fought through. That split second, you give a guy who has a hot hand an opportunity and an avenue to let it fly. That's a new career high for made Reed in a game for Reed. Clark has won at the other end for the Hokies. Number 12 on the season for Chris Clark. He was so wide open, Tom, he had to let that one go. A timely shot from the junior. His 12th three of the season. Sends the turnaround. Too much on it. Robinson downshifted to the rim, and he got fouled. Marquise Reed offensively is shooting a hot basketball right now. The Tigers are setting ball screens. And you see the space there. Chris Clark hesitates for a second. And if you're Justin Robinson, you have to go on top of Chris Clark. So you're right there to contest that shot. That indecision, that space gave a guy who is shooting the lights out enough space and time to let it go. And that three by Clark is first points of the evening. Big changes in that Clemson lineup. Includes Elijah Thomas coming back in. Eight points for Thomas, nine rebounds. Robinson at the free throw line. Thirteen points, Justin Robinson. One-point lead, Virginia Tech. Around the perimeter. Spencer. Tapped around. Back on the cylinder. And to Robinson. Clark. Just to fire it back to Robinson. Did well to catch that pass. <laughs> that was a fastball coming in low. 
Robinson is trying to break ankles. Three pointer good. Tyree Jackson. First points of the night from number one in white. All hands on deck for Virginia Tech. Multiple players stepping up and contributing to this second half lead. the interception. The two-on-two two of Matt Hill lays it in. And Brad Brownell cannot wait anymore. Marquise Reed marches to the scores table. A timeout is called. And Hokie Nation on their feet right now. Largest lead of the night. Virginia Tech by six. you by Jimmy Johns, Clark with the steal to get it rolling. Well, the defense of Virginia Tech has been on point. Clark with the steal, head up, pushes. A man Hill running hard, taking it up and under for a contested finish in transition. A 10-0 run from the Hokies. Jimmy Johns, freaky fast here at Castle Coliseum. Part of the 10-0 run over the last minute, 45 seconds for Virginia Tech to take its largest lead of the night, 44 38 after leading by one at halftime. Marquise Reed has come back into the lineup for the Clemson Tigers. Reed on the night has 20 points. That is the ninth time this season he scored 20 or more. He's got over a thousand in his career, Jason, combined after transferring from Robert Morris and his time in a Tiger uniform. Caught in the corner. The miss from Spencer. Scarra had it for a moment. Jackson, Robinson, in the corner, up Med Hill for three. Scar a big rebound, and he got pulled down. Timeout on the court, 11-10 to go in regulation, and the foul is on Jackson. We have an official timeout. Here it is 44-38, Virginia Tech leading the Tigers. Playing a little bit shorthanded, Dante Grantham, their senior leader, has missed the last seven games, a knee ligament injury January 20th against Notre Dame. And we told you that Shelton Mitchell is also out of the game with a concussion suffered a couple of games ago against Florida State, Jason. Coach Brad Barnell understanding the position his team is in. Had great success throughout this season, down two of their more important players, coming in having lost two in a row. Being very positive with his team, encouraging them to simply come out, continue to play hard, but have some execution here at the half court offensively. They grant them over a thousand points, over 500 rebounds in a Tiger uniform as Reed missed fires. Thomas was fighting with Hill and Clark, and the foul is on Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech has a really small lineup on the floor. P.J. Horn to go along with Chris Clark are the front line players. Horn stands at 6'5", Clark now 6'7". So Elijah Thomas has to do his job rebounding that basketball. When he gets it in the paint, he has to be decisive in his moves and attack immediately before the double team can come. Devin Wilson is back in for Virginia Tech. Thirty-eight percent as a team from the floor in the game for the Tigers. Spencer, not bashful. Hill over the top for the board and the outlet. Wilson. Okie, slow it down just a bit on this possession. Justin Robinson not in the game right now for Virginia Tech. Beattie in there going baseline. Wilson steps to it. Weak side to Vaux. Reed dropped it low for Thomas in an easy two. Marquise Reed has his fingerprints on everything positive happening for the Tigers. Scoring in bunches and there the draw. The dish, and Thomas with the easy two inside. He's got a double-double, Jason. Ten points and ten rebounds. 
for Elijah Thomas, his eighth double-double of the season. That's two in a row. Had one against Duke on Sunday. Horn launches three. Both sides of the rim. Four-point game. Reed. Scara. Angular rebound beating. Freshman. Good pass. Seeds Horn. What poise from the freshman Beattie. The pocket pass inside. Great use of the ball screen. And an easy opportunity for a finish in the paint. P.J. Horn now with six points for the freshman from Tifton, Georgia. Inside of nine minutes to go. Reed for three again. And Tom, his expression never changes. He is cooking here in this second half and throughout this game. And it's just business as usual, doing a great job trying to keep the Tigers close. How about 23 points of the 43 in total for the Clemson Tigers and seven made threes. Marquise Reed, that is a career high for a single game. Shot clock at five, beating. Wilson got it away. The bench is cracking up for Virginia Tech. There's something about shooting the ball from three when you're facing a short shot clock that raises your percentages up. Devin Wilson, two made shots from distance in this ball game. Foul on the play. Devin Wilson had two made threes all season before tonight. Virginia Tech getting it done. Great execution. Pocket pass from Beattie. Horn with the finish. And Devin Wilson, not known as a shooter, but don't tell him that, knocks it down from three, and the bench loves it. Conference keeping in mind the top four teams will earn the double bye at the ACC tournament in Brooklyn. The Tigers 9-5, and five, Virginia Tech 8-6. and six. Virginia, Duke, and North Carolina all in action. Duke has not started yet. You see Virginia number one has the lead against Georgia Tech. And North Carolina at the dome with the lead against the Orange midway through that second half. Theo Pinson, 20.7 assists. Getting the job done for the Tar Heels. Tough road game. And Clemson continuing to find a way to keep themselves close in this ball game. Gabe DeVoe with the drive. Opportunity to put points on the board with the clock stop. Unable to knock down the first. By the way, North Carolina has the best winning streak in the conference right now. They've won five in a row as they play at the Dome tonight against the Orange 7-7 seven seven in conference play. Back to the action, Clemson and Virginia Tech and DeVoe at the line. And Tom, that there is a young man who's lost some confidence in himself. Gabe DeVoe, a 76% free throw shooter, a guy that is known as a scorer, but really struggling in this contest. Just two points tonight for DeVoe, the senior from Shelby, North Carolina, who averages 13 per game. Blackshear in traffic, knocked out of bounds. We keep it at this end, although just two on the shot clock for Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech has so many plays they run out of bounds under for situations just like this. Two seconds on the shot clock. Of course, screen to screener action. There's a slip, but Justin Bibbs to the corner. You saw Justin Bibbs set the initial screen, then he got the stagger to the corner. And Buzz Williams takes pride and scoring in special teams, side out of bounds, as well as out of bounds under. Eight points now for Justin Bibbs. And a foul against the Tigers. For great execution, Bibbs sets a bright screen for Robinson. He gets a screen and brings himself to the basketball, to the corner. If you're Clemson, you have to have better recognition than that. The best shooter in the gym right now, percentage-wise, from three. You can't give him that easy of a look. 
6.45 to go in our second half. Robinson behind the back. Dribble! Couldn't finish it off with the jumper. Trying to go inside. Scara stumbles, falls, and travels. Oh, nice pass for Marquise Reed. Scar had the angle but loses his feet. And you can see right now in the ball screens when Reed is in possession of the basketball, Virginia Tech staying with him a little longer. That's going to leave other guys open. Reed made the right decision. The Tigers have to come away with points when they have the numbers on the front line. Virginia Tech with 17 points off of those turnovers by the Tigers. This is Bibbs, tough angle. Reed goes up ahead. Three-point miss from Trapp. Eliza Thomas has picked up the foul. Brad Barnell looked at Trapp and told him that's not a good shot. Hasn't been in the game long. You're laboring the score. You have the numbers in transition. You have to get a better look at the hoop when you're playing from behind. That foul with six minutes to go put the Hokies in the bonus. So the officials want to make sure they put the appropriate person at the free throw line. Three fouls now on Elijah Thomas. And the bonus situation for Virginia Tech. Born at the line for Buzz Williams. Sweating this one out. Sellout crowd at Castle Coliseum. Horn delivers from the free throw line. Largest lead of the evening, 11. DeVoe has to kick it out. Reed shoveled it to Thomas. And he was fouled on the shot attempt. Clemson has not scored since the 8.50 mark of this second half, but Thomas will go to the line. The foul is on Chris Clark, his first. Virginia Tech is trapping every ball screen now that Marquise Reed comes off of. So other players have to step up, be receivers of the basketball, and when they catch it, look to attack downhill. First miss from the line tonight for Thomas. Let's take a look at the upcoming schedule brought to you by the North Myrtle Beach Convention and Visitors Bureau for the Clemson Tigers. Georgia Tech in a battle right now with Virginia, but with only a week left in the regular season, every game means so much. The Tigers reeling right now without their starting point guard as well as Dante Grantham. They have to find a way to finish the regular season strong. Clemson just two of six from the line tonight. Out of the corner, the miss. Alexander Walker looking for three. Reed cuts through a couple of defenders. Bounces low. Thomas lays it in. Approaching the five-minute threshold with the Tigers hanging around. The trailing by nine to Virginia Tech, led by one and a half time. The Tigers needed that basket desperately. Thomas doing the job early. Two feet in the paint, creates that angle and a nice pass for an easy finish. Robinson aggressively to the rim. Robinson was fouled and is going to the free throw line. Justin Robinson is so difficult to defend because he's a lefty, but he can go either way with the basketball. Nice drive to the hoop. I didn't see a lot of contact. But he earns a trip to the line to build on this lead. 
They gave the foul to Marquise Reed, his second. And Marquise Reed waving his hand, saying it can't be me. If anyone made contact, it was Scar from behind. Okay, now here's the issue, Jason. They want to clarify on the foul because they want to make sure they've got the foul on the right player and the right player at the free throw line shooting the free throws. It would appear that'd be correct because it was Robinson driver to the bucket. Well, they're going to put Horn at the line. As I said, Robinson didn't get hit on that finish. But you see there the drive, the defense and rotation, and Horn has the inside position, and Marquise Reed pushes him in the back. That's where the foul was called. But a great savvy play by the point guard trying to step to the line, a better free throw shooter to put points on the board. So second foul on Reed. One of two for Horn. Great replay from our technical crew to support the proper call. Lead back to 10, inside of five minutes to go. Virginia Tech has won three in a row in the series. They have all been close. DeVoe misses the pull-up. Four on two, behind the back. Horn can't finish it off as Robinson went for some style points. Oh, big fella, you got to put that one down. Great pass and transition. Unable to finish that too. When your point guard sets the table, gives you a nice size plate, you got to clean the bowl. You got to go up and finish that one with authority. Excellent pass from Robinson. You see him there dapping up. Horn, let them know, continue to run, I'll continue to feed you. But you better finish your food the next time. <laughs> Horn coming out of the game for Virginia Tech. Nine points for P.J. Horn. Off of that Virginia Tech bench. On the previous sequence, there was no foul on the play. The ball hit the top of the backboard. So the ball back to Virginia Tech on the miss by Reed that bounced up on top of that backboard. Now closing in on four minutes in regulation. Bibbs gets free. Under four minutes to go. Clemson needs offense. Brad Barnell telling his team to push it up the floor. Attack before the defense has a chance to get set. Trapped. And Tom, that's good offense. You drive the ball to the lane, put the defense in rotation and create a wide open shot. Those are shots, as a coach, you're gonna live with because they're wide open and you shot the ball in rhythm. Black Shear in the paint. A very kind bounce here at Castle Coliseum. Tigers are 9 of 30, Jason, on three-point attempts. And seven of those have been off the hands of Marquise Reed. Trap on the drive, and he got fouled. Blackshear was defending. But just about everything going right for Virginia Tech, including a student coming out of the stands and hitting the half-court shot for 10 grand. Turnovers have been a story tonight. 11 for the Clemson Tigers. 17 points off of those miscues for Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech taking advantage of extra opportunities. Their defense has been stout, flying around, getting deflections. Defensive breakdowns from the Clemson Tigers has led to opportunities. And turnovers, live ball, allow the Hokies to get in transition where they have made the Tigers pay throughout this contest. Justin Robinson leads the way with 14 points, only Pokey in double digits. Just the two turnovers for Virginia Tech, and none in the second half. This trap is at the free throw line. That's the difference in having a quality point guard and Justin Robinson running the show, getting everyone involved, being the leader on the floor, and the Clemson Tigers, Shelton Mitchell, Back at home, resting, getting well soon from his concussion against Florida State.
Tigers tonight, Jason, just two of eight from the free throw line. As a team, they're second best in the conference on the year at 75% from the strike. Well, they haven't shot the ball well from anywhere. You take away Marquise Reed, who's been on fire from three, and the Tigers simply have not found their range from two, from three, and not from the free throw line as well. Shot clock at five, Blackshear. Had Bibbs for a moment, knocked out of bounds. Thomas was defending. That's the fourth on the lines of Thomas. Does have a double-double tonight, but now in serious foul trouble with 2.33 to go. Blackshear is one for one on free throw attempts tonight. Nine thousand people get awfully quiet <laughs> in crunch time when you step to the free throw line. They get quiet, and in unison, their hands go up in anticip anticipation for a shot going through the hoop. Blackshear, clutch, eleven points. Gary Blackshear. Inside of two and a half minutes to go in regulation. Virginia Tech led by just one at halftime. Scara slips behind the defense. Virginia Tech with an 11 to 6 advantage against Clemson here in Blacksburg in the history between the teams, and they're closing in. In their fourth win in a row in the series, although the previous three were very close as DeVoe picks up his third person. We told you they played twice last year, and both of those games were one-point wins for Virginia Tech. Take a look at the upcoming schedule for Virginia Tech, brought to you by the North Myrtle Beach Convention and Visitors Bureau. Well, it doesn't get easy for the Hokies. The good thing about it, two home games, Louisville at home, as well as the Blue Devils, and then they travel to Coral Gables to compete against Miami. But no game is easy in the ACC this season. Nice job by Gabe DeVoe there, attacking the lane, putting the onus on the officials. If you're Clemson, you want to try to stop that clock, put points on the board to give yourself an opportunity to edge closer in this contest. Struggles at the line from 15 feet away. Second best in the conference, but not tonight. Leaving some points on the floor. And as a coach, so frustrating. You know your team can make shots, you practice it, the game plan is in and ready to roll and just unable to finish for Brad Barnell, the job he's done this season. A disappointing season of last year. Down two players. You see the Tigers continuing to play hard, forced a turnover. On the make, you see the press is set. Scar comes away with the steal. The ball went off of Justin Robinson's leg, out of bounds. Will be Tiger basketball on the baseline. The officials are checking the monitor. Looking for some evidence of this possession under review. Well, this should be quick. The ball was deflected. Yes, it did hit Thomas's leg, but then it hit Clark. It went off the right shin of Justin Robinson. Hand, ankle, out of bounds, Clemson basketball. To be a quick review. Ted Valentine, Bill Covington Jr. In on the discussion. And there you have it. <laughs> Emphatically. So down by 11 for the Tigers. You would think, Jason, at this point, inside of two minutes to go, they must start pumping up threes. Not that they haven't done it all game, but now you're in a critical portion of this game. We've got those two wins against ranked opponents, North Carolina and Virginia on the road. 
where they snapped a 16-game home winning streak and a 15-game ACC winning streak for Virginia in that win at John Paul Jones Arena. There is a timeout. We will also step aside from Castle. Four seed at the ACC tournament. You do not have to play on the first two days. On Tuesday and Wednesday. You start your tournament on Thursday, and that's what these teams are trying to do. Virginia Tech lost in the quarters of the tournament last year to Florida State after a second-round win against Wake. Taken away Blackshear as Reed hit the deck. You talk about getting that double bye. The Duke Blue Devils, the champions last season in Brooklyn, they did not have a double bye. Four games in four days with a short bench. What a great tournament it was, and the Blue Devils knocking off Notre Dame in the championship. The road went past Clemson. They beat them in the second round as Duke beat them 79-72. And then went all the way to the title. One twenty to go. Is the mountain too steep a climb right now for Clemson? Well, Clemson has to continue to go and get the ball inside and score, draw a kick for threes, or stop the clock by getting fouled. But you can't turn the basketball over very close to being yet another turnover by the Tigers. Nine of 31 beyond the arc for the Clemson Tigers. They'll try one here. Reed will get it back and lay it in. Reed has been the only consistent scorer throughout this game for the Clemson Tigers. Final minute of the ball game. And the Hokies throw it away along their own baseline. And partner, when you ask, is it too steep of a climb? Absolutely not. There's a lot of time left, and if you turn the ball over, you leave that door cracked for the opposition to have a chance. Now Clemson has to continue to execute offensively and score the ball, preferably as quickly as possible. 25 of the 50 points from Marquise Reed. Get some moisture off of that basketball and ready to put it in play with Gabe DeVoe. Trying to get it to Reed. Gets the three away and hits it. An eighth three-pointer, Marquise Reed. A career high tonight, all the way down. Alexander Walker with it on. Four orange jerseys in the front court. Justin Robinson has his head up. Gabe DeVoe with a timely three-point shot. He needed that. More importantly, his team needed it. Brad Barnell immediately calls timeout. 41 seconds to go. Virginia Tech ahead by five. But Justin Robinson, the kick ahead. Alexander Walker goes up high for the jam. 56, the lead for the Hokies with 41.6 seconds to go. Marquise Reed for the Tigers has attempted 22 shots, Jason. 18 of those from three-point real estate. He's made eight of them. 28 points, a career high tonight for Reed. And he's done exactly what was needed of him. The Tigers needed someone to score the basketball. Yes, he's had to take quite a few shots, but who else was going to take them? He's kept them in the game. He's knocked down timely threes. He's taken and made tough shots. And given the Clemson Tigers on the road in a tough environment with 41 seconds to go, an opportunity still to possibly steal this ball game. And with the 10 rebounds by Reed as well, his third double-double of the season, third of his career. His career high 25 came earlier this season against South Carolina at home against their rival in the Palmetto State. Virginia Tech skillfully breaking the pressure. Alexander Walker put it up there for Blackshear, who got fouled by Sims. The Tigers were trying to foul Chris Clark, unable to get a hold of him without the possibility of fouling him intentionally. And precious time ran off the clock. Great ball movement and spacing from Virginia Tech. Now K.J. Blackshear steps to the line for two. He is three for three tonight on free throw attempts. 73% of the season. 
The redshirt sophomore from Orlando, Florida. 6'10", 252 pounds. He's going to have to wait a moment as we make sure those clock numbers are correct. Right now it shows 32.6 seconds to go in regulation. Trying to find a discrepancy on the clock. As they continue to review the clock. Still making sure. They are going to add some time, but we'll see exactly how much. An opportunity for both coaches to get their teams in line. If you're Virginia Tech, you're at the line now in the bonus. What are you going to do defensively to contain the Clemson Tigers? Clemson, right now, you're drawing up make or miss what you're going to flow into immediately offensively without taking a lot of time off the clock. So they're going to adjust the clock to 33.3 seconds remaining in regulation. With Virginia Tech up 61.56. Don't forget, on most of these regional sports networks, Wake Forest at Pittsburgh. And Virginia Tech leading Brad Brownell's Tigers the whole way here in the second half after leading by one after the first 20 minutes. Okay, so they've adjusted the clock, 33.3. Virginia Tech 12 of 19 as a team from the line. Blackshear has not missed. Sims is out. Tom, there's a lot of time left in this game. Two possession ball game now. Whether make or miss. Marquise Reed, as we talked about, has shot a hot basketball from three throughout this game. 28 points for Reed. 12 now for Blackshear after the free throw. Reed wants three more. Doesn't get it. Clark with the rebound and he's fouled. Spencer fouled Clark immediately. The He'll Tigers. send the junior from Virginia Beach, Virginia to the line. Excuse me, part of the Tigers got the look they wanted. The guy that's led them and kept them in this ball game got a quality look at the hoop. Unable to connect and in traffic, Chris Clark with the grown man rebound. Six rebounds on the night for Clark, 0 for 2 from the line. And this is what gives coaches gray hairs right here. Late in the game, you have an opportunity to extend the lead if you just make free throws. Chris Clark connects on the second. Reed, looking for some space. Gets it back, long three. Duvall runs it down, 10 seconds to go. Blackshear grabs it, and he gets fouled. 7.1 on the clock. And the crowd rises. Sixty three fifty six Blackshear back to the free throw line Four or five from the line for Blackshear Virginia Tech name never gave up the lead tonight Right after us in just moments Wake Forest at Pittsburgh Five games on the schedule tonight of the ACC Virginia Tech win number 20 of the season consecutive 20 win seasons in league play number nine to hope 
The Hokies are going to be a dangerous team as we move through the last week and a half, as well as when we get to Brooklyn. And that will do it. Buzz Williams and the Hokies win it 65-58 for Jason Capel and the rest of our wonderful crew. I'm Tom Wormy, wishing you good night from Blacksburg. Don't forget, Wake Forest in Pittsburgh is next. Thank you for watching ACC College Hoops.